side, make it a little bit more stable. There we go. So I feel like I'm on a little bit of a roll with these now. I'm just going with it. It's my third one today. <laughs> And we'll grab some black gesso. Okay. So, this is my canvas I'm working on today. What now? And, uh, oh, see. and the paint. Um, I've got this plastic mask. It's uh, cut from an old plastic folder. Um, with my die cutting machine, and I'm going to use it as a mask. And I'm going to use this black gesso, and I'm going to just around the outside of the heart. And hopefully, we will have a lovely swirly acrylic ball heart left in the middle and hopefully it will be nice and crisp <laughs> and we can do something nice from there I have no idea what I'm going to do after this We shall see. Just going to check. I want this to be nice to have nice coverage. And the gesso will be nice and matte when it dries. Because the heart will be glossy because it's been varnished. That's all covered. Still see little bits of the painting coming through, that's why I'm going over and over and over. Because of the texture of the canvas, it, you've got to get right into the little bits. There we go, let's see what we've got. I've got messy hands, I know that. Okay, so it's not perfectly crisp. Let's try and just. You know the baby wipe, see if we can get some of that extra off. Um, yeah, we can tidy it up a little bit. Just trying to angle it out of the light because all I'm getting is glare if I lie it down. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is just grab this brush and go around the outside of the canvas.
So you can see that that gesso is drying on the top already and it's going matte and it's quite a contrast with the glossy heart in the middle which is nice, that's what I wanted. Um, I'm just thinking some swirls on that black might be nice. See if I've got nice swirly stencils. Um, so yeah, let's just get that dry and we'll see what we're going to do next. So, put a little bit, just a little bit of this blue out. This is the blue that I used for the acrylic pour. It's a good shake actually. It's something to be wanting to move, so it's a good shake and then here we go. Whoop, too much. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Anyway. So I haven't cleaned that one. combination of different stencils here. Um, just want some swirlies in these corners. I've got to resist the urge to sing. Um, <laughs> went to see that new film Bohemian Rhapsody the other day. And I'll, I'll just have Queen songs in my head all day. Chunky that one, so we'll stick with this one.
So yeah, there was some different things as well. some of the black off there so I may have to go back in with some gesso to tidy that up I can find something nice to go in the heart. Maybe some words. I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this one. Let's see how this looks. Again, oh, if you haven't seen this video, I'm using uh, Marta's stickers, Maremi Smile Art. You can find these on her Etsy page. Just smile so special so you I'm going to rub it with something like this just to burnish it and make sure it's well stuck. flashing at me. <laughs> so I'll make this quick. And I'll spread this on the top. And I'll grab a brush just to spread it out a bit. clean immediately. And that waterproof pen is bleeding. Um probably because I didn't give it enough time to dry. So to dry and then I will put some nice photos or a nice photo at the end 
so you can see what it looks like when it's dry and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope if you found this you are going to enjoy it or whoever you decide to give it to enjoys it and thank you for joining me uh, thanks for watching everybody bye, -bye.